What's up guys, Fern here, Foggy Boy Productions. So I'm here, we're in North Mayfield. This is uh, Eat Well, nice name for a restaurant, buffet, right? Actually, there's another one, it's in uh, Bergenfield, I believe. I think I've been there, maybe. But this buffet is kind of new, it opened last year. And they have, supposedly have seafood, and uh, I've had a couple of friends tell me that this is a pretty good buffet place. So if you're looking for something that all you can eat, this is pretty good. I like the decor, but it's nice. It's not as big as like Umi where we went to in Edison. I'll leave the link here. But uh, yeah, we'll check it out. Eat some good food and uh, let's see what we can uh, find here. Keep watching. the window seat <laughs> all right let's take a walk and uh, check out what they have to offer Oh, seafood, crabs. Got all the fruits here. Nice. As you can see, my plate is filled with seafood. It's my first plate of the day. There's no rice at all. So hopefully I can eat as much as I can. I'm hungry anyway. So I got the stone crab. Got some oysters. Got me a stuffed shrimp. I think this is the seafood pasta. And some salmon. Let's dig in guys. Check it out. Crab meat. Mm. Good job, the salmon. Let's dig into the oyster. The juices are falling off. Mm. I don't eat much seafood because I don't like breaking the shell. It takes a lot of work <laughs> for very little meat. All the garbage here. But let's see what I can dig into here. It looks pretty good. I see a lot of meat, some some meat in here. Mmm. 
love crabs. Good stuff. I recommend it. This is, um, I, I always recommend seafood, but I think this is the seafood pasta. Mm. So there's a Korean barbecue station where they cook in front of you. So we picked up some pork, uh, shrimp, and we got squid on a stick. They even have a hot dog there. I guess for the kids. But uh, yeah, let's take a bite of the squid. There's some spice to this one. A little spicy. And you got the rubbery taste of the squid, but it's good. I like it. Let's try some of the pork. Looks like pork chop. Pork chop. <laughs> I might go back for more, more meats because I love meat. There you go. Mm. Nicely marinated. Looks like it's cooked very well. Well done. But yeah, go here for the Korean barbecue. It's pretty good. Watch them cook it for you. Pick whatever you want to eat. Here's my next plate. I got the beef ribs. I heard they're pretty good here. So I got some of that. Some sushi. I never have enough sushi. General Cho's seafood boil. As you can see. Let's get ready to eat. Alright, so we got more sushi. I know you probably watched that video where I ate all kinds of sushi, but I can never say no to sushi. <laughs> mm. It's not bad. Get some General Cho's chicken. Still has that citrus taste. As you notice from my plates, I don't have any rice except for the sushi because you want to eat as much as you can, get your money's worth, especially if you're spending like 20 bucks. But that's still pretty cheap for both things. And come on a weekday, save some money. But it's, I think it's like 30 bucks on the weekend. So here's the beef ribs. I heard this is pretty good. I read it from someone from one of the reviews, they have pretty good beef ribs. Mm. Yes. That's good. Finger looking good. <laughs> yes, please. But yes, the beef ribs. It has a nice char to it. I like the um, the marination they use. And it's definitely worth it. Good stuff. So this is the hibachi. So we got Korean barbecue before. This is hibachi. Got a little bit of everything: shrimp, beef, pork, some veggies, and some noodles. I ain't ordered too much because I'm almost at the point where I'm full. All right, let's try their hibachi. This is where they cook in front of you. I think it's the same chef that does the Korean barbecue. So I got some noodles. I'm just gonna do a little bit of everything. I got some crab meat in here. See if I can get this all in one bite. Mm. Not bad. And she gives you a choice of um, sauce to use. Um, she gave me teriyaki. I said, I'll do teriyaki. I think you could do soy sauce. I don't know what other sauces she offered, but there's that. But yeah. And then she cooks it right in front of you. You can order as much as you want or as little as you want. 
I actually tried, I tried to go in between because I can't eat this all. <laughs> I'm glad someone can help me. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty good. I would recommend it. If you're in a buffet and you see hibachi, get it. So we definitely got our money's worth. Look at all the crabs we ate. And uh, dessert was taken care of. We ate all the fruits. I'm gonna see what ice cream we could pick up. This is a first. So much ice cream to choose from. I don't know which one to choose. Help me choose. And if you guessed it, and if you know me well enough, I always pick chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Can't go wrong with chocolate ice cream. Dessert. This is a sign that you gave up in food, in eating. Especially at buffets. Chocolate ice cream. Yep. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This is Mod Eat Well Modern Buffet. What a cool name, right? Eat Well, because we did eat well. We ate a lot, actually. And they have, if you haven't been to a buffet before, especially this one, they have hibachi, they have Korean barbecue, they have all kinds. Come on dinner time and you get more seafood. I think they also have lunch time, but they have less seafood. But you know, they have other types of foods, sort of like Borgata, where when we went, it's all brunch food. But this one, if you go on dinner time, you get some crabs. I was hoping there was some lobster, but we didn't get it. And I think if they had lobster, it'd probably be a little bit more expensive. Price is reasonable. It's about 20 bucks if you come on a weekday and $29.95 on the weekend. So yeah, come here, North Plainfield, or come to Brigginfield is the other place. You could always uh, check them out. It's called Eat Well Buffet. So if this is your first time here, make sure you ring the bell down below. Hit the red button so you get notified for future videos so you can subscribe. Subscribe to Polyboy Productions. Like, comment, and share, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh,